Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about elbow functional anatomy. Um, so talking about how the joint functions together and a little bit deeper on the structures of the elbow. Uh, so the elbow complex is formed by three bones, the humerus, radius, and ulna. Uh, those bones form three articulations, the humeral ulnar, humeral radial, and proximal radial ulnar joints. Um, now, even though those are the only three joints of the elbow, uh, the function of the elbow also depends on the function of the distal radial ulnar joint. Uh, so because the proximal and distal radial ulnar joints only always have to move together, um, that means that if there's dysfunction at the distal radial ulnar joint, that is gonna create dysfunction at the proximal radial ulnar joint. Uh, the joints of the elbow share one large joint capsule. So we have three joints there, but they're all inside of the same large joint capsule. That means that what affects one joint will affect all three joints. So injury of any of the three may influence function of the others. Uh, that's true anytime we have multiple joints sharing one joint capsule, uh, because if there's injury to a joint, uh, that can cause increase in fluid, it can cause inflammation, there could be degeneration of the joint, there could be debris from the injury inside the joint capsule, and any of those things will affect the other joints that are sharing that same joint capsule. The interosseous membrane is a dense of, um, it's a dense band of fibrous connective tissue between the radius and ulna. So we have an interosseous membrane here. We also have one between the tibia and fibula. Um, and so its job is to stabilize against longitudinal forces applied through the wrist, which is what we see in this bottom right picture here. So when we say longitudinal forces, we mean a force applied through the long axis of the limb or of the bones. Okay, so if you have a compressive force where you're leaning your hand or leaning on the palm of your hand like that, um, you're putting a longitudinal force through the length of the limb, and the interosseous membrane is there to resist those forces. Without the interosseous membrane, um, there would be a large amount of force driving those bones apart from each other that the joint capsule at the elbow would have to be able to tolerate. Um, so the interosseous membrane is there to help resist that and absorb some of those forces so that that's not all just being going into the elbow joint capsule and that we're not just solely relying on that joint capsule to hold the bones together. Uh, because those longitudinal forces would cause the ulna and radius to want to split apart. Okay, nerves of the elbow. Uh, the median ulnar and radial nerves all cross the elbow and they all cross relatively superficially. Um, that means that they're vulnerable to acute traumatic injury and entrapment conditions uh, because of their superficial positions and where they are between other tissues. So when we say entrapment conditions, we mean uh, when a nerve gets entrapped or impinged, it's getting kind of smushed or stuck between two structures. Uh, so when that happens, it will cause neuropathy. It'll cause um, all kinds of different symptoms and dysfunctions of the nerve going distally from that point of entrapment. Okay, that is all I have for you in this video, and I'll see you for the next one.